Hello and welcome to the induction for the lead nurse role at Cathedral House. Training requirements. We expect the lead nurse to have completed the mandatory vaccination training, which is available on the ELFH portal for, COVID, for the COVID vaccination program. It consists of three modules, one which is general information about the program itself, one on the Pfizer vaccine, and one on the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. There's also a video um, which explains the aseptic non-touch technique and another video showing how Pinnacle, the Pharma Outcome software, works. This is the software that we're using at Cathedral House um, when it comes to recording patients' vaccinations, um, but also um, any aftercare that a patient might require. Um, the anticipation is that the lead nurse will not be doing any vaccination, however, it's worth looking at this video um, and taking in this in case assistance is required at the stations. Um, and please ensure that you're up to date with basic life support and your anaphylaxis training. What to sort out prior to attending Cathedral House. Please ensure that all the training from the previous slide and what's in your induction pack, where all the links are, um, are as well, make sure you've completed all of that. Please ensure that you have a log on for AccuRx so you can access the AccuBook system for patient booking. And please ensure that you have a log on for Pinnacle as well, um, which is for recording a vaccination and for any aftercare. What to expect at Cathedral House? There's a big car park at Cathedral House with a separate entrance going into it and another um, entrance where patients will leave from. Um, this is to ensure that the traffic flows in one direction but also the layout of the building is, is in such a way that the entrance and exit are different. Patients will go in one way and they'll come out another. There will also be a section for car bound patients um, and the traffic management company called Streetwise will be liaising with the lead manager and some of the volunteers within um, working within the Cathedral House um, to coordinate these patients. These patients will have a separate entrance where they will come in from their car um, into the hall, have the vaccination done at the nearest station. They will have an observation area there as well for 15 minutes and then they'll go back out to the car. The flow of patients. Patients will enter through the main entrance, which is going to be clearly signposted, and come into the foyer where there will be a hand sanitization unit um, before they enter the main hall and approach the reception desk. The patient will be arrived by reception before they join the main queue and when the, um, the next available vaccinator station is available, they will go into the station. Um, the next patient will be waiting on chairs outside of each station to ensure um, that the, uh, the queue key is as short as possible. The target rate to ensure good patient flow and keep the queue indoors is 12 patients per hour, which equates to 5 minutes per appointment. Um, there will be an observation area on the other side of the hall um, where patients will sit and wait for 15 minutes, after which they'll be allowed to go. Volunteers will be across the hall um, managing this patient flow. Arrival at Cathedral House. When you arrive as the lead nurse, please report to the central desk and check in. Familiarise yourself with the layout of the hall, including the central recess station and the main clinical room. When you're in the clinical room, please do a fridge temperature check and record this on the chart, which should be present on top of the fridge. Meet the rest of the team. Um, with fire drills, if there are any planned for the day, the lead manager will inform the team. Um, in the event of a fire, please exit from the nearest fire exit. The patients who are waiting in the observation area will exit from a different fire exit and they will have a separate cordoned off area within the car park so that we can monitor the patients who are still under observation. The toilets are located in the foyer near the exit and you will also be offered a lateral flow test which is entirely voluntary. If you haven't done so already, sign the national protocol and the PGD. Vaccinating stations. The lead nurse should ensure that all stations are equipped appropriately with a small blue tray, a label and pen, wipes, hand sanitizer, PPE, 
alcohol wipes, cotton balls and microball tape, the one mil syringe needle boxes, a sharps bin and any vomit balls. After this, the lead nurse should start reconstituting the vials of the Pfizer vaccine in the clinical room and have these delivered to the stations ready for vaccination. The vaccinating will then begin with a minimum target requirement of 12 patients per hour for each station. The lead nurse should assist the lead GP with regularly checking each station to ensure doses are adequate, to ensure smooth running and offer any support as required. The lead nurse should assist the lead GP with any staff assessments as required as well and work closely with the lead GP to assist with the vaccine dose management towards the end of the session. This may mean stopping reconstitution of vials for a time. Emergency. In the event of an emergency, the lead GP should respond immediately, but the lead nurse may be required to assist. There will be a central recess area with an anaphylaxis kit, a defib, and oxygen present. When you have finished your shift, um, log off and have a very short debrief with the team and provide any feedback if needed and then check out. Thank you very much.